Hey guys, so yesterday we took a look at the Sun family team, so today we're going to be looking at the Vegeta family team. Now as we go through the equipment here, I will say, I do still think the Sun family team is better. Um, there's just more options there, you can throw on a, diff a bunch of different LFs, there's, you know, there's, there's like at least three times as many options as this team has. But, I will say that this team has gotten a ton of good um, units added to it recently. Um, namely, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, obviously, and then the LF Vegeta before him. So, those two represent basically the core of this team. You do still have things like Purple Trunks and then the GT Vegeta as well. And if you notice, um, we actually have a full color wheel here. So, you know, if for some reason that someone, like, someone decides to bring, like, I don't know... Uh, mono purple or something we could bring this guy if someone decides to bring a team with heavy green units we can bring this trunks but mainly you're going to be running the top three uh like i just said those lf vegeta and super saiyan 4 vegeta are the core of this team and then transforming vegeta is still really good too so i mean this team is honestly the one of the better teams in the game i would say um the only thing i would say this team probably needs more so than a lot of others right now that are in the top spots in the meta is they need a dedicated support type unit. Uh, LF Vegeta does a, does a good job at like buffing the other units like damage, but I think someone like I don't know someone like a Mai or someone like that who can just bring utility to the team can add a lot more to it, and th that would make this team skyrocket even higher. Someone like a Purple Bojack with like that cover change ability, like something like that, like just something broken would make this team like really good. Uh, but yeah, this team is very good, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, so we're fighting against Lineage. Not ideal. <laughs> uh, he's only with Cooler, so I think we'll just do this. He doesn't have Purple Cool either, so I think this is, this is safe anyway. Mm. His team is a little bit suboptimal because it doesn't have Purple Cooler on it, so I think we actually should be fine. In general, this matchup would be really bad, because obviously they... That team is literally designed to kill Saiyans, and our team is only Vegeta, basically, so, yeah, not very good for us. Uh, we have to be cognizant of his green Golden Frieza if he brings him, because he can do a ton of damage, and we didn't bring Trunks, so we have no purple to counter him. Uh, we're probably just going to have to not take any single hit from him, because he can combo and just use his main ability and kill us. So... This is going to be a dangerous one. We're both pretty much glass cannons, unless he brings uh, full power. He did bring full power, okay. It's a little bit laggy because this guy's Korean, I think. Let's we'll see what we can do here anyway. Okay. It's gonna ring in full power here, so we'll just do this. Now we do this. It's a lot of damage, like I said. Okay, there's Golden Frieza. I think we actually might be able to chain into that. No, we can't. I'm gonna go for this. Okay. I'm actually gonna go like this. He's gonna bring him cooler. There he is. Wish I could chain, but I don't have enough key. Oh, it looked like he was doing something, so I went for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, he's gonna go for a tackle. That's fine. Vegeta's coming in in two counts. I should shouldn't stay in. Okay, got him. I'm actually going to bring in Vegeta here, because even if he brings in Golden, we should be able to kill easily. Okay. See what he's doing with this. Alright, good game. Yeah, like I said, both of our teams are pretty much class cannons, so it was going to end fast on one side or the other. Oh, this is going to be an annoying one. I hate fighting Ginyu Forest. It's, they're such a good team. Uh, he's going to leave with Ginyu, so we'll go with you, I guess. Um, well, he's going to bring Ginyu, right, for sure. Actually, you know, he might actually end up bringing the Golden Frieza. Because he knows we're all Saiyans. This is a tricky matchup for sure. I really don't think bringing this guy is good. 
The issue with Trunks is that Birder will literally one-shot him. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the normal, the normal setup here. This is uh, this is a very scary team to fight. Uh, I do think Ginyu Force is probably the most slept-on team in the game. By the way, um, it, they're in my opinion they're probably like a top five team in the game still. Uh, Ginyu Force is is criminally underrated to this day. Um, so yeah, it's just. It just gets ridiculous once you get the stars on them. I thought he was going to go for a tackle, but it worked out anyway. Is she going to go into you? Oh, I thought he was going to switch out to Raccoon. There's Raccoon. Should we get one more card here, maybe? Yeah. Alright, that's actually really good damage. Okay, there's Frieza. Alright, this guy's just like charging forward. Let's stall here with this. Let's go like this. I think you should be dead. Okay, that was pretty easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm fine sacking this Vegeta off. Uh, we don't need him anymore. Did his work. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't care about it if he dies. I'd actually rather him die than the LF Vegeta take that much damage. Oh, he went with a blast? That's really bad. Never mind. Because he couldn't chain it. I'm gonna save my special, uh, my main ability to, use it to stop here. So we'll stop time. We can go with this, and we'll legendary finish. Yeah. Again, the thing with this team is that it's just super glass candy. There's candy. There's, there's no tanks at all. Uh, even on my bench, I have LF Goku. He's not giving any sort of defensive buff at all. It's just <laughs> you're kind of like risking a lot using this team, but it's fun. All right. So God Key. Now, God Key is scary, too, because of this guy, this purple Vegeta. Um, if he catches us with this guy switched in and can lock us in, he can pretty much one combo him. Like I was just talking about earlier, like, this guy's not giving defensive buffs, this guy's not giving defensive buffs, this guy's not giving defensive buffs, this guy's giving one, one, one. So we have three total defensive buffs on this entire team, and then none of the main three units that I'm using have, like, any defensive utility at all. So we're super, super squishy. Um, he's definitely going to bring Rosé. He's definitely going to bring LF Vegeta. And then, honestly, he's probably going to bring... Well, if I was him, I would bring this Vegeta. But he might bring the Goku. Uh, definitely going to bring you. And then I think we'll actually try and bring the Trunks here. So we'll bring you the Trunks. And then I think we'll do you. Because this is technically your showcase. So I think we'll actually leave out the blue Vegeta. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to leave out Blue Vegeta. Even though I think it's a good chance he does bring that Goku. I just, I don't know. This is a good opportunity to show how good Trunks can be. So we'll see if he can show him off here. Don't bring Kaioken Blue, please. Oh my god. Of course you do. This is going to do a lot though because he has no blues. <laughs> All right, Trunks. Trunks, guy gives, Trunks gives, I believe, 35% damage when he switches out to a Vegeta family member. Oh, he's, he waited. That was nice. This is going to hurt. I'm going to wait for Vegeta to come back. Okay. This is why I didn't bring out Vegeta, because this, this guy would just annihilate him. Does he have a rush yet? doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Up this. Is there a green card? No. Ugh. He is. We can bring Kaioken back in, I believe. So I think this Trunks is probably just dead. Yeah. Great, great. We'll go. This. He just used a green and a blue card. Okay, so it's a strike, probably. 
Well, didn't really show off Trunks at all because he just got annihilated instantly. <laughs> Another fault of this team. I don't know. He's going to go for a taps, so... Go like this. Oh, I thought he would go for taps there. Uh, he went really fast. Well, this is not looking good. Uh, yeah, I'm probably dead here. He was smart and brought the purple Vegeta, so that's uh, that was good. That was a good decision by him. Okay. So now, now we got to get through the green Vegeta. Somehow we're gonna have to rush him. Bring him in. He knows that I've rush, so he's not. He's not gonna bring him in. Oh, he sees him doing this. He's gonna dodge. All right, that was. Uh, I had to do that. I had no choice. I was gonna die if I didn't, because he would have just went into Blue Vegeta and then main abilityed me and then locked me and I would have died. Um, this is probably a loss, but uh, this is a good representation of why this team is not really as good as Sun Family. Again, they don't have defensive options at all. It's just this is what you get with this team. Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is good, there's just... I meant to pop my main ability. Uh, yeah, now he's gonna come in and probably just kill me. Here it comes. Watch, you get, this, is, this is gonna be like a four hour long combo. Oh, we dropped it. Interesting. We have no buffs anyway, so it's not like we can kill him. That was nice. Yeah, we'll get her dead. Oh, that was a good game. All right, so we're playing Androids. Uh, Androids is still a really good team. Uh, I think it's probably better than this team is. So this could be a little bit of a difficult one. Uh, we will do you. Definitely you, and then do I want to bring this guy or not? He's, I think he's definitely going to bring the purple 17, but I don't know. Um, nah, I think we'll just do this. I think this is my best setup, so... I mean, he's not going to bring blue 13. He's definitely going to bring red 13. I think Cell is pretty likely, and then... Uh, is he going to bring 14? I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's see. He did bring 14, okay. He actually brought the, he, wow, he brought the 13, okay. Surprised Cell didn't come out. Oh, I waited too long. Yeah, that was uh, my mistake. We'll just eat this. We can heal up with the green card afterwards. He has his main already. That's really bad. Oh, he just dropped it though. Okay. Wait for him to sidestep twice here. Oh, he didn't. I'm going to go right away then. Okay. Well, I guess we're switching out. That's pretty bad. Go with this. Cell's probably coming in. Yeah. Ah. Um. Let's take a few hits here. Watch out here. This guy does so much damage. It's crazy. Um. He switches blast cards to strike cards, but I don't think he's used this yet. I actually did use that earlier. Remembered. Okay, there's a blue card, so I'm glad I didn't pick blue. Ash Blast. So that's actually the last one I would have picked, so it's fine. Yeah, you're dead. I think that was like a two-star 13 or something. I don't know why he brought him. 
Oh, he likes to wait a long time. That's good to know. Okay, we'll eat this with Vegeta. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta really has not been doing a lot in this video. It's just a testament to, like, how situational he is. I mean, he's good. It's just... I don't know. He's just so fragile. It's, like, crazy how fragile he is. I was going to go for the rush there. I should have went for it. Let's do this. If you kill this guy here, it's basically game over because he only has cell left. Okay. I think my vanish is almost up. Yeah. Of course, the second I decide to. Uh, Tackle. It's okay. We can just tank here, and if he goes for like a special move or a rush or something, we can go out to the other Vegeta and just tank it with him. Um. Yeah, we'll just do this. I don't feel like getting that with uh, Super Saiyan 4. I think he actually would probably do like half my health <laughs> against Super Saiyan 4, even with type disadvantage. Oh, cool. You'll love to see it. Can he even kill me here? Probably not. Okay. That's game. Oh, okay. Well. So that was the uh, Vegeta family. Again, not nearly as good as Sun family, but uh, it's getting there. I think one or two more top tier units for this team. You know, ones that can A, take a hit, because none of these guys can take a hit. And then B you know, have some sort of uh, utility. So something like the Bojack switch, like cover change or cover rescue or something where, you know, you're not just switching into a glass cannon every single time you switch out. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.